Yes, it's going to come with a price, Gigi. We're talking about rain and significant amounts of rain that may wash some of that melt or melt some of the snow away. Let me show you what's on the radar right now. You can see more moderate rain across western Kentucky working its way in this direction. And again, what will continue is maybe a rumble of thunder, especially in parts of the west, maybe toward Elizabethtown. But I want to show you this because this is interesting. This is actually a live picture of East High Street and Fontaine Road just outside the Chevy Chase Plaza outside of the Fox 56 studios. And you can see some of that snow here probably getting a little bit less uh, coverage as the rain is going to help make that a slushy mess heading into tomorrow because we'll be closing in on an inch of rain. But I got to show you this. This is what's interesting. This may not be amusing to you, but we've been on like an amusement ride as of late, like a Ferris wheel. Lexington Bluegrass Airport with snow and ice underfoot. The high yesterday was 16 degrees. That's all. And then we fell down to seven degrees. Exactly how chief meteorologist Chris Johnson predicted seven degrees at 844 last night, then only coming back up to around 10, 134, just a little bit while later. Later, 10 degrees is still cold, but then we jumped up up to 39 degrees by daytime, and then by 8 o'clock tonight, we're at 43. So essentially, we've jumped 32 degrees in less than 24 hours. Pretty amazing stuff. At this very moment, we are still in the 40s in many areas, but 39 degrees in Lexington and Fayette County, 45 in Richmond in Madison County, and temperatures in the mid-40s from Somerset back toward Monticello. I'll explain more how much rain that's coming in just a moment.